In this session, we are going to look into reflective versus formative indicators. What's the difference between a reflective and formative indicators? Now, when we are doing analysis in Smart PLS, what we normally see is, or whatever software we are using that actually focuses on structural equation modeling, what we have is we have our latent variable that is measured using some indicators. If you are, if you are using Smart PLS, you will have something like this. So these are eight indicators for this latent variable CSR. So corporate social responsibility is our latent variable that is measured using these eight indicators. Now, how do we differentiate between reflective and formative indicators? The relationship between the indicators and the underlying construct can be formative or reflective. So CSR and the relationship between CSR and its indicators can be formative or reflective. Latent variables as in this example CSR are assessed by observable measures that is indicators. The measurement model describes the relationship between these manifest indicators and the latent construct. Measurement models can be reflective or formative in nature. In reflective models, the indicators are affected by the latent variable. So the arrows are towards the indicators. Whereas in formative models, the indicators define the latent variable. So arrows are towards the latent variable. Reflective indicators are interchangeable since the concept is reflected in different indicators sharing a common theme. So when we have got a model that is reflective in nature or our latent variable is reflective, if you delete one item that is interchangeable by the other item. So the items are interchangeable. Deletion of one item does not invalidate or completely finishes or destroys or, or the latent construct does not loses its identity. So if one or two items are deleted, you, the, the content validity still holds for the reflective latent variable with reflective indicate, indicators. However, with formative indicators, even if you delete a single item, the whole construct may be completely finished or its operational conceptualization as you have conceptualized it in your study, it actually diminishes. So each of the indicators are contributing a specific meaning to the latent variable. So they are not interchangeable. Now, for example, CSR is measured using different dimensions or different indicators. Some definitions have got different characteristics of CSR. For example, one have economic, legal, ethical, philanthropic, while the other may only have ethical and philanthropic dimension to it. So we might say that even if there are four indicators for corporate social responsibility and one of them is deleted, for example, a legal dimension or legal indicator is deleted. The conceptualization of CSR is it still there. The content is still valid. So we can say that CSR can be a reflective construct. In case of formative models, it is the other way around. A change in the indicators results in the change in the construct under study. Now in a reflective model, the latent construct will exist in absolute sense, independent of the measures. So even if you delete one or two items because of low loadings, the construct will still be there. It won't lose its identity because the items are interchangeable. Practically all scales in business and related methodological texts on scale development use a reflective approach of to measurement. So you've got multiple indicators for a particular latent construct. So even if you delete one or two items or three items, still the scale, still the dimension, still the construct holds and you use it for further research in your study. In contrast, in formative model, the latent construct is dependent upon the con constructivist, operationalist or instrumentalist interpretation of the scholar. So it's how you interpret that particular latent construct. For example, Human Development Index, HDI, 
it does not exist as an independent entity rather it is composed of three things health education and income so if you remove even one of them you are no longer having human development index so human development index is actually formative construct any change in one or more of these components is likely to cause a change in hdi score in contrast to a reflective model few examples of formative models are seen in the business literature more or less most of the times our lower order constructs are reflective a reflective measurement theory is based on the idea that latent construct cause the measured variables and the error results in an inability to fully explain these measures so your arrows are flowing from your latent construct to the indicators so your latent construct is actually causing the variables for example customer commitment is believed to cause specific measured indicators like so customer commitment or customer commitment will cause the specific indicators like willingness to willingness to obtain the brand x telling friends about purchasing brand x and continuing to buy brand x at a higher price now even if we remove let's say this willingness to obtain brand x these two other indicators will still tell us about the customer commitment removing one of the item does not invalidate this customer commitment scale here commitment can be expressed through different ways so these are different ways if you choose one of them you, you might not choose the other ones you might want to add other questions to this particular scale as well so even if one does not tell friends and show willingness to buy brand x at higher price this is still termed commitment in contrast a formative measurement theory is modeled based on assumption that measured variables cause the construct as in the case of hdi those three these three actually these three health education and income were causing human development index so the error in formative measurement model is its inability to fully explain the construct this means that the indicator list must be comprehensive otherwise you do not have that latent construct you are not forming the construct unless your indicator list is comprehensive for example another example could be social class index sci is composed of educational level occupational prestige occupational prestige and income so if you remove educational level you are no longer measuring social class index but here in this case customer commitment even if you remove two of the indicators you are still measuring customer commitment so this is the difference between reflective and formative indicators sci does not cause these indicators as as in reflective case but these indicators are cause or these indicators cause the sci social class index so social class index is made up of these three indicators in case we remove income as indicator we cannot call it sci now here it is how you show in um, scm uh, particularly this is an example from smart pls so the arrows are flowing from csr to the indicators so this is reflective the arrows are flowing from csr to sorry from csr indicators 1 2 3 2 8 to the latent construct csr so this is formative now here are few considerations now theoretical consideration nature of the construct latent construct already is existing in reflective model whereas latent construct is formed as in case of sci or hdi but here in this case as in case of customer commitment the latent construct already exist now the direction is actually in reflective it's towards the indicators whereas in formative it is towards the construct now characteristics of item used to measure the construct items share a common theme so even if you remove one item the other could take its place but here in this case you cannot remove an item because they do not share a common theme and are not interchangeable now for example here is another example diet if we measure diet through i eat healthy food i do not eat eat much junk food i have a balanced diet now these are reflective r1 r2 r3 are reflection of diet so even if i remove r3 these two can cover for r3 however if health is formative i have a balanced diet i exercise regularly i get sufficient sleep each night f1 f2 and f3 are actually determining health 
they are forming health. So to be healthy, one should have all these three. If I remove balanced diet and I'm doing exercise, but and I get enough sleep every night, but I do not have a balanced diet, then I'm not healthy. So this is how you differentiate between reflective and formative indicators. Thank you very much.